Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have an outfit mod. This is a Wasteland overalls. We're about to go get these. We're here at the Red Rocket. Kind of, you know, by sanctuary right at the beginning of the game. I understand there's more than one Red Rocket gas station. We're gonna pull our gun out for no reason other than we can. Um, but this is a building right here. Literally just like the first building down the hill as you head in the Concord. And right in here is all the overalls. So the red rocket, warm black, warm black overalls, short sleeves. We're going to take all of these, and then they come with a hip holster as well. So let's just quickly take all that. Um, so you can't craft those. That's that's the only place those exist in the world. So make sure you don't dismantle them or get rid of them or have some other catastrophic thing happen. Otherwise, you have to like do some weird things like where you undownload the mod, then redownload the mod, then go collect them all again or whatever. So let's take a look at what we got here. Let me put my gun away. I don't really need a gun for this, but, you know, always at the ready. So let's take a look. We'll put just the first overalls here are brown. Make sure we don't have anything else on. We have brown overalls. They're overalls. I mean, that's what they look like. And they, they, they make my female character look very close to looking like a man. It's, it's like a real, it's real close. My, my chest disappeared. I'm, it's part of the thing. Obviously, we'll work with male characters. We'll show male characters off towards the end of the video. But with my female character here, I just wanted to see how this works. I currently have the CVE body on. And it definitely it doesn't work with that. Um, and another thing with this mod... And one of my biggest apprehensions about it, but one of the biggest reasons I wanted to test it, it is big. It's like 140 megabytes. It's huge for some overalls, I think. Um, but we'll take a look at them here. So we got the gunner overalls, which is like urban camo ones. That's that's nice looking. Um, we do have some ones that have short sleeves in here, right? Not all of them, I believe, have short sleeves. There's black and brown and then worn and worn tan. So we have, what do the worn overalls look like? Like dirty. Some blue, okay. You do have some color variety here, black. Black overalls, they're all kind of worn. I mean, maybe that's why, because we're like talking about high texture quality here on, on the wear, right? Like the, all the little details and stuff. And the, and the shirt texture here does look nice. You can see kind of the little fiber quality in there, but not like where I'm like, God damn, look at them textures, right? But like, um, we'll, sh we'll put the short sleeves on there. I prefer the short sleeves, honestly, by like a lot. Because like the long sleeves, not only are they, the sleeves long, but they have like a, like a turtleneck collar. Which I, you know, it does make sense because if you were wearing overalls and you were getting dirty and stuff, you don't want to get your neck dirty either. But at the same time, like, it just like seems like a lot to me. To me, in personal style preferences and stuff, short sleeves with some overalls, right? And then we obviously have all those holsters as well. So we, have, you want a matching holster? You got a holster on your hip, you know, is um, clipping, right? You do you have a ten mm pistol all on there, and obviously, I suppose you could put the holster from this mod something else if we put the vault suit on you could absolutely wear this holster with the vault suit and you could see my full cve body in in motion there um but the holster works with anything a holster is going to cause clipping though bethesda didn't design hands to watch out for things on your hip okay your hands go right by your hip okay that's just how animations work here i mean we've shown off most of the overalls here i mean obviously you can you can mix and match different things if you want the brown holster with the brown overalls and you can mix and match those things um i mean some people are really into overalls right so like for some people this is like you know their favorite mod now they're like oh my god overalls i'm like okay dude it's just not my thing but we're going to show off the male character real quick with these just to give you like you know fair equal separation of the sexes here so i will see you guys in just a little bit all right everybody we have one of the overalls we didn't even get to show off this is the red rocket overhauls so but i expect it to be very red this is on the male character here this is with short sleeves this is it doesn't specify short sleeves either this is just short sleeves um so plus one perception and charisma on these i, I forgot to mention that a little bit earlier too but i mean that's that's what you get this is i mean why is the overall short sleeve on? like what the short sleeve one looks like they're all short sleeve on my male character That's interesting. Like it, it, it does look slightly different. I think it does look better on a male character than a female character. Not that female characters can't wear overalls. It's just like got the weird turtlenecky thing. <laughs> Turtlenecks bother me, dude. I'm like I got like a phobia almost. I'm like I'm out there. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some overalls, right? You got some nice boots on there too, right? Like as part of the thing. I don't know why I'm bleeding out of my shoulder really hard on all of these, but I am. Um, and you can't do anything with them. So there's no ballistic weave, which is a big no-no in my book. That's a big no-no. You can't, you cannot be putting no ballistic weave on, on a mod you expect people to wear and then still somehow play the game, right? Um, but there's a lot of overalls. It's a big old mod. And I really just cannot, because it, 
Mods don't cost money, right? Unless you talk about creation club and stuff. But mods don't cost money. Mods, on the Xbox sense, cost space. Because you have a limited amount of space. So you have to spend that space properly. So if you're spending it, it's essentially a currency. And this mod takes too much currency, I think, for what you get. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I always like to hear your opinions when they're at least well thought out and not just dumb shit. <laughs> but you guys... <laughs> Try to come up with a well thought out opinion down in the comment section down below. If you guys want to check out this model for yourselves, by all means. Maybe, like I said, maybe overalls is your thing. And you're like, poggers, dude, overalls. And I'm like, all right, dude, download this one for yourselves by checking out the top link in the description. They'll be linked to the Bethesda on that page or the next mod page or wherever you can find this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate a like ring down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos from me because most of you, most like 90 something percent of people who watch my videos don't aren't subscribed. Subscribe to the videos. I make them Monday, Wednesday, Friday, follow four moms and some other things, right? I, like I'm content creating. <laughs> and pretty much other than that, though, I will see you guys in the next episode.